Hey folks, do me a favor and uh, click on the link at the end of this video and subscribe to our backup channel, RIDRAD. I don't know how long this uh, channel is going to be around, but uh, so we started up a uh, backup channel, RIDRAD, and I'd appreciate it. Make it real easy for you. Just click at the end of the report here, or I'll even leave it in the description. Thank you. All right, folks, here's our daily report. And for those that are unaware, I've been following this uh, radar map now for about six months. And we've been uh, doing research on these spike anomalies that are coming out of uh, this one you see coming out of Houston and Texas, electromagnetic radiation spikes that we are not exactly clear of what they are and exactly where they're coming from. But we've been noticing them in Texas and in California and this uh, spike over here in Michigan and we've got one down here in Georgia and to be honest folks we've been noticing them all across the country for the last six months and uh, still have not gotten a suffice answer as to what they are not as bad uh, today as I've seen it but none uh, still there nonetheless so let's move on to our next subject and that is the Oroville Dam, folks, if you remember in 2017, the spillway, at, there was a failure in the spillway and a couple of hundred thousand people had to be evacuated in the Lake Oroville area. So why am I bringing this up is because I have been watching videos and reports of people that are concerned that we might be on the cusp of an, another failure. Here is what they say is a live cam of the Oroville spillway. Some are suggesting that this is doctored up and we're not able to see the live footage of the spillway anymore. I'm not sure I've not done enough research to say yay or nay on that. This is the uh, bottom of the spillway. Here we see a live uh, supposed live cam footage of the top of the spillway so i had to edit the original video so this is a correction because in the original video i had said that these these sandbags over here before there was uh this much water in the picture they it, it looked like cracks to me going across the spillway but obviously as you look at this picture now these are clearly sandbags going two lines of sandbags going across the spillway so my question is uh, to anybody that knows is why are they putting sandbags across the spillway like that uh, to divert the water to the left they want all of the water flow going to the left obviously and isn't that the side that the spillway failed? I, I hope I got that right, but from the video footage that I had seen from 2017, it looks like that's the side that failed. But once again, many people are uh, concerned about uh, this structure and whether it's going to hold up or not because of all the water that is going through it right now the spillway is being used because the level is at 888.91 feet now to put that into perspective in 2017 when it was the when there was the failure the level was at nine a little over 900 feet so we are very close to the level of when we had the failure in 2017 now does that mean that there's going to be another failure I don't know but there is once again room for concern because the 10-day forecast for Lake Oroville starting on this Thursday May 16th suggests that starting on Thursday May 16th going eight days after to Thursday May 23rd there is rain in the forecast so uh, once again room for concern because the lake simply 
cannot take any more water. As it is, it is, wait, let's go back here. As it is, it is already 160 feet above pool level, full pool level. Now, here's an interesting conspiratorial view of the 888 foot level, 888. Spiritual, conspiratorial view of the number 888. If you go into the lexicon and you put 888 into Hebrew and do a search, very interesting, you come up with wicked and bad. And then if you do it in the Greek lexicon, 888, comes up with useless, unmeritous, unprofitable. Interesting, folks. So, of course, that's just a conspiratorial view of it, and I didn't come up with it. I actually heard that from somebody else, so I don't take credit. But are we on the cusp of another spillway failure? I'm fascinated about this subject right now, folks. I hadn't really, um, I wasn't doing research on it until this week. So we're going to keep on it. We're going to keep digging and see what's going on. And I'll continue to report it as I find more information. Folks, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope uh, all the mothers out there had a, a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday. Oh, wait a minute, folks. I forgot to say something else that I had found out that after the 2017 Oroville Spillway episode, uh, gold was found. Gold Rush Oroville Spillway Emergency creates Bonanza of Gold. The Oroville Spillway Emergency in California may have one silver or gold lining. The debris kicked up by weeks of heavy rain and runoff is now flecked with gold and amateur gold panners are enjoying quite the bonanza. So, if you want to put your tin foil hat back on, folks, that one's interesting as well. So, I will put the link to this article if you want to read it in the description. And now I will end up the report, folks. God bless you. Take care. And we'll talk to you soon.